All right. Um, a couple things first. Um, thanks for actually posting a video and showing me what was wrong. But honestly, in the future, uh, just PM me for my email and email me your .gmk file from GameMaker, and I can have a look at it. Uh, that's a lot easier. I normally don't do video responses, um, but I can make an exception. I'm usually a pretty visual person, too. Um, uh, I don't know what you use to record it. I mean, I, I'm not expecting incredibly high quality. It looked like uh, Cam Studio. I forget what version they're up to by now. Um, but uh, it almost looked like you in the stop event had... A, or, or, first of all, you can take off the self dot. Um, I put those in to make it easier to understand. By no means do you actually need them. It's actually better to use X and Y. When you just put X and Y, it takes form of the default object, basically the applies to. Or if you use a function we start using around part 20 of the tutorial series called with, and then you put an object in there, whatever your object is, then and then you put X, X would take upon the X coordinate of with object, whatever that object is. We don't start using that for a while, don't have to worry about it. Um, so first of all, take out the self dots. You should have x equals global dot des x. Um, I always use semicolons because I'm used to x and a and c plus plus. Um, I always use semicolons. Game maker, you don't have to. What it looked like, honestly, it looked like you had a colon, which would do a complete error. It would mess everything up. If I went to go run the game now. Um, I'm guessing I'd, um, what I got was, uh, fatal error in action number one of step event, uh, for object stop, uh, complication error in code action error in code at line one, x equals global dot des x colon, and then at position 16, unexpected symbol and expression. Um... So that's what it looked like was a problem. That definitely would mess it up. Uh, that's the only thing I could think could possibly be wrong. And considering that's just missing the, sh uh, that's just hitting, accidentally hitting shift while you hit the semicolon. That's incredibly easy to do. Um, let's see, I'm gonna mute your video real quick. I'm gonna try and find the part. That has the error in it. That's not the part. Or is it? I don't know. How about here? No, no, sprite, sprite. Okay, here we go. Uh, no, this is saying there's an unknown variable des x. Alright, so that's not the error. In GameMaker and GameMaker alone, you do not have to uh, show every variable. Um, mo most of the variable problems people ask me about, this is actually the most common variable problem and problem in the entire engine that I get, is, uh, by, in errors, alright, you get to this little tab by going on this panel right here to global game settings. If you double click that, there are several tabs up here, you're gonna wanna go to errors. You always want to display error messages. You don't usually want to abort so you know what's wrong with the game. But you sometimes do want to treat uninitialized variables as zero. Now if I unclick this, I don't know if I'll get that problem or not. I think I have um, something that... Uh, Drag control, drag control. All right, here we go. Yep, there you go. Um, I got the same error. So what you do is you just go to global game settings, errors, and treat uninitialized variables as zero, because we never really have um, that variable used or initiated in the actual code. What you would need to do is somewhere uh, before step of uh, 
that object somewhere in the engine, usually one of the first ones, like scrolling for instance, um, you could set it somewhere, but because this is Game Maker, you can just do that, that's fine, just go to Global Game Settings, Errors tab, and treat uninitialized variables as zero. Almost all of the ones that say there's a problem with the variable are for two reasons. One, the variable is the same name as a certain sprite or a object, or you didn't go to Global Game Settings errors and check this box. That will solve 90% of all variable problems in GameMaker. For instance, we have, uh, let's see, making, that could also be known as working. Uh, this is just a little circle that rotates. If you have this, if you named this working, there are many uh, objects that use working as a variable name, and GameMaker would instead take working as the object and try to use an object as a variable. It's a, uh, uh, it just comes up as an error. So that's how to fix it out. This should fix 90% of all variable related game maker problems in this engine. Most problems are variable related problems. There are a couple others. Uh, as for the stop, the fact that you change the sprite, I don't think you have to. Um, because later you put in, uh, just make sure that uh, stop is not solid. That could be a problem. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. Hope it helped. Hope other people that had this type of problem, it's fixed. So, thanks for watching.